but is still a bit chilly outside. It's January after all, which means the weather it's perfect for maybe curling up with a good book, or this Friday you could head out to Joseph Beth to speak with author Mariana Zapata about her book, All Roads Lead Here, which is who we're talking to this morning on The X. Welcome, Mariana. Tell us all about uh, really this Road Leads Roads Lead Here book, kind of what it's about, how you were um, inspired to write it. Hi, Jordan. Sure. All Roads Lead Here is a story about Aura de la Torre moving back to the small town in the mountains where she grew up um, following a long-term breakup uh, from her famous boyfriend. Uh, the only problem is uh, the landlord that she's renting her garage apartment from has no idea she's moving in. So it's really just a story about, um, you know, this character, Aura, starting her life over as kind of a city girl that she's not the mountain girl that she used to be and kind of experiencing that whole lifestyle uh, as an adult woman. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what the book is about. And it inspired me um, because um, I'm from that town. And so I really wanted to write a story that takes place in the mountains. And it was just a lot of fun to be able to adapt that into a story. Absolutely. And again, too, kind of talking about, you know, that process, being a woman, kind of trying to, you know, make it out there on your own in, in a new town and what have you. Um, kind of tell me a little bit more, though, about what exactly prompted and inspired this particular theme of this book that you thought, OK, I want to write about this particular thing. Yeah, I think I, I moved to that town a few years ago, so it was a very eye-opening experience to go from living to a city to living to a town where you don't have good internet service from, you can't just easily call someone to get something done, um, you know, or even just use your phone in general. So I thought it was, uh, for me, it was an idea of, of writing just an inspiring story about someone who's very resilient, uh, moving into that kind of situation and having to learn how to handle everything on her own, everything, but for the most part, like just a whole new experience of, you know, uh, you know, she has a situation with the wild animal that she kind of has to deal with on her own. And it's just uh, she, she's such a sunny character that it's at least for me, it's very hard to not root for her along the way. She kind of figures things out on her own because I feel like it's a very human thing thing to be thrust into a situation um, that you don't know what you're doing. You just kind of have to figure it out as you go along. Exactly. It kind of goes along with the term baptism by fire, right? We hear that a lot. I want to know <laughs> yeah. a little bit about your process writing this book. I can imagine for you it would be, you know, so personal that there would have to be, uh, it would have to be quite powerful for you as well, getting through this book, writing this book. Yeah, it's, you know, it took me a little over a year to write it. Um, at that point, I thought I was done writing it. And when I got it back from the editor, it still didn't feel right. So I had to go back and work on it for another, I would say another two or three months afterward. Um, but it ended up being the, the story transitioned into not just being a love story, but one that also focuses on grief that she experiences um, from losing her mother. And so that was a, a very personal thing for me. And, and I think that that's, you know, something also that's very universal for other people is having to learn how to move on with your life um, when you still miss someone so much. And, and because it's not something that you just move forward with and just leave behind, but you carry it along with you the rest of your life. And so she's kind of still learning, even though it's been a while, how to continue with those emotions and, and grow from them at the same time. Love that. OK, tell us a little bit about this event happening at Joseph Beth, because I want the audience, I want the viewers who are listening and watching this morning to be able to check this out for themselves. Yeah, we're going to be at Joseph Beth on Friday. Um, I'm so excited. We're going to uh, be having a signing. I'm going to have a question and answer and hopefully take some pictures with some of my readers along the way. Wonderful. Love it so much. Congratulations, Mariana. I appreciate you taking the time again to tell us about your inspirational book and the process behind it. Um, and yeah, good luck and congratulations. Thanks again for joining us on The Morning X. Thank you so much for having me.